Kid Puff. Greetings, Internet world. As you might have been able to tell from the title of the video, today I'm going to be designing some Valentine's Day characters. So a bunch of other really cool YouTubers and I got together and decided it would be fun to try to come up with a bunch of characters based on different little Valentine's Day themes. And all the characters are going to be living in the same world, which I'll explain as the video goes on. I thought it'd be fun to design two characters, and my first character is a dragon based on the theme of ribbons. I drew inspiration from a few well-known characters for this design, and I kind of already knew what I wanted to do going in. So I just did some concept sketches to make sure I had the idea down, and then I just started drawing. Basically, I wanted to do a dragon whose entire body is made out of a ribbon. So I thought it'd be fun to give her like a wavy body, and then at the tip of the tail you can see that you know how the ends of ribbons look like? I wanted to emulate that with the tip of her tail. And then also her legs to be made out of ribbons. And the claws are actually supposed to emulate the end of a ribbon a little bit as well, but I gave them three points instead of two because I thought that made more sense for claws, right? And then some details I thought would be fun are like the ribbon-shaped eyes and the ribbon-shaped eyebrows and some heart-shaped horns and nose just to tie back to the Valentine's overall theme, right? But then I thought she was looking a little plain, so I did up this little scale pattern and I just used the distort tool to put it around her back and altered the colors a little bit, just messed around with them until I was finally happy with this design. So she is a festival performer, just a comedic little sidekick kind of character. And I thought it'd be cool if she could breathe like fireworks instead of the traditional regular fire, so I named her Fireworks. And after we finished our designs, we all did a big reveal of all the cool Valentine's designs we did. So here's what they thought of my ribbon dragon. Hello everyone, I'm Octowinks and I will be reacting to Al's designs. Oh my gosh, we have two? This is so exciting. Let's see the first one. <gasps> oh my gosh, this dragon is so cute. It literally is so cool. And the name Fireworks, perfect. It kind of reminds me of those like Christmas kind of like ribbon candies, which are really cool and I love it. It would definitely be cinnamon flavored. That's what I just am going to say. Hello, I'm War. And let's go to Al's, her ribbon dragon fireworks. Cute. I love that her eyebrows and like her eyelashes are also ribbons. This is so cute. Like I like how it's not like a ribbony texture, but like a scaly texture. I'm pretty sure I have seen like ribbons like with a kind of texture like that. So I think that's fun. This is Kitty Puff. Here we go. We have a ribbon dragon named Fireworks first. That is so cute. And I actually did see this before because it was sent before the spoilers were marked on the image, but this is just so precious. And I love like the texture. Okay, this is something that I have to point out. The texture on the back, like the scales, it's so cute. And I can just like imagine this being like a little like, like a real thing in like some sort of movie or a show or like a game even just like little sidekick character that's like based on like a ribbon and moves like a ribbon. It's just so cute. My next design is a Pegasus based on the theme of doves and lace. Now I want it to be a little bit more unique, I guess, than the traditional just plain white dove. So her design is based on the bleeding heart dove, which I think is m even more Valentine's themed arguably. So this character is meant to be the steed of the knight character that War designed. So I thought it makes sense to give her some armor, and then the reins and the little decoration bit are made of lace to go with that lace theme. I thought since she's a pegasus, I wouldn't just put feathers on her wings, but I'd also add some feathers to her tail. I've seen a few My Little Pony Pegasus designs, that they put the feathers on the tail as well, so I thought that'd be a nice addition. 
I also tried to add some more subtle lace design, so apart from just the lace in her armor, I also wanted her mane to have like a big poof and a little poof and a big poof and a little poof to kind of emulate the shape that the lace has. And then with the color, I noticed that the claws were actually this pinkish color, so I made the hooves that color. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, and then, since her chest was covered by the armor, I decided to put an upside down heart on her armor, just to emulate the bleeding heart of the bleeding heart dove. I ended up naming her Duchess. I thought it'd be a really cool name for a knight's steed. It sounds kind of royally and also kind of strong as well. Okay, next design. <gasps> oh, this Pegasus is so cool. And I saw that the like the dove, the bleeding heart dove like design. And oh my God, that is just such a cool concept. And you hit it out of the park. It looks amazing. And I'm loving the lace accessories. Ugh, it's just so scrumptious. 10 out of 10 designs, yes. And then the lace Pegasus Duchess. I love that name. I love that. <gasps> Oh my gosh, everything I dreamed of. <laughs> this is so pretty, oh my gosh. Wow. She's so pretty. I love her, her lace and all her different colors. <laughs> so pretty. I love her wingy eyeballs. I like that she's like big and strong. I love that. I love that. Great. So next we have the dove slash lace pegasus named Duchess. I haven't seen this one. Oh my goodness, Duchess. You are gorgeous. I love this. And like the little pattern on the wing. It kind of reminds me of, um, what's, what's the bird that Mordecai is? <laughs> like, a, what is he? A, uh, a blue jay? <laughs> is that what he is? I don't know. It kind of looks like that. Um... But I love like the lace on the um, the reins of the Pegasus. That is so genius, and I love the wings on the back of the hooves and the curly mane. That is so good. This is amazing. Also, love your line art. The line art's so clean. I use a pencil grit line art, so I don't have like a very um, digital art look to my art whenever I just kind of sketch. Um, which is just preferable to me whenever I do it, but I love when other people can do this because it just looks so good Good job guys. These look so amazing And those are the dragon and pegasus characters Make sure to check out Adelinity, Octo Inks, War, and Dexterly to see the lady-in-waiting, the prince, the knight, and the jester characters that go along with them Congratulations! You've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my designs and just to reiterate, go check out the other designs that fit in the world with them because they really are really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say in this video, so until the next one, fly you high! <laughs>